every year we there's a mentor recruitment rally here in the city of champions and who else would I have on to talk about it but Amanda Trask. Welcome, Amanda. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having me. Thank you for being me. here. Thanks for doing what you do. The whole Brockton's Promise and all the different nonprofit organizations in Brockton that get together to do this. I can't believe it's the ninth already, so next year will be a big one, the tenth. Um, what's new? What's different? And we'll talk about date, time, place, because all of that's slightly different. Yes, so um, we hold it every year in January um, in honor of National uh, mentoring month. Mm -hmm. So it's really one of the most positive nights in the city, an opportunity to recognize um, existing mentors, whether that's, you know, a foster parent, a social worker, a teacher, or, you know, a formal big brother, but also an opportunity to ask other people to step up to the plate and, you know, kind of consider giving their time as a mentor um, through one of the amazing programs that we have. We have so many to choose from. Um, this year, we are very excited to be partnering more intentionally with DCF, mm -hmm. um, the Department of Children and Families. Um, they came to a meeting of ours. Um, we do meet monthly in anticipation of this event, and um, you know they were explaining the great need for foster care parents um, and how you know their um, case loads are so much higher now. A lot of it due to the substance abuse epidemic. They have a lot of grandparents raising grandchildren, and you know, people pass away. There's just a lot of issues going on that is causing this surge in numbers. So mm -hmm. we're really being more intentional about that. Um, our keynote speaker, um, Tatiana G. Noel, is going to touch upon that. Um, she, you know, is very vocal about her passion for working with foster care youth, um, especially those who transition out of foster care at the age of 18. Um, and she also um, was formerly in foster care. So she has, you know, personal experience with that and also works for DCF. So we're really excited to have her on board this year to really help us bring light to that crisis right now. So we are talking Thursday, January 26th. Yep. Time? It will be at 5.30 okay. at the Shield Science Center at Stonehill College. Okay. And that's a new location. Yes. Uh, yep. Which is a nice location. Stonehill is a good community partner. They're literally part of the campuses in Brockton, and, yes. but it has an eastern address. But a lot of center for nonprofits over there. They do the to the streets program, all the different programs mm -hmm. out of Stonehill. So it's a that's a natural partner too. Um, so tell us what's going to happen. In the past, it's been like a dinner. There've been awards. There's been performances. There's been all sorts of stuff. We talked keynote speaker. Yep. What else is happening? Well, we have a youth and adult MC combo, so we're very excited about that. Um, one of the youth from the uh, Mayor's Brockton Youth Council will be helping to MC it along with Aaron Wilson, um, who's the CEO of Lead the Baseline. Mm -hmm. um, so we're very excited to have them on board. Um, oh. And then we're also going to have a call to action from them, um, a performance piece at the end. I can't tell you what it is, but okay. we'll see. Okay. Um, going to be some And surprises. then we're going to be recognizing Eastern Bank mm -hmm. um, as an exceptional business this year because they have given, um, every year for the past five years, we've honored exceptional businesses in the community that support mentoring, support our team. And they have given um, $6,000 in the past three years for this event alone, which is very a significant contribution. So we're going to be recognizing them. Um, and then we'll be recognizing 21 mentors in the community um, who are made up of various people, you know, teachers, social workers, the formal big brothers, like I was talking about earlier. So, um, and then from that, 21, four will be given the Exceptional Mentor of the Year Award. Um, because we try to do it in different categories of youth who nominated their mentors, adults who've nominated community members, things like that. So we're very excited about that. Um, and the winners will, will be revealed that night. Okay, so the 21 people know the nominated, but yes. they don't know whether they don't know who the winner is. Oh, like I said, but everyone gets surprise. recognized and yeah. gets to stand up front, and it's an opportunity for them to be thanked by the community and the youth that they're working with. So what are some of the different mentors, mentees, of the different organizations that are involved? I know you mentioned Big Brother, Big Sisters mm -hmm. is, is one, certainly. Um, who else? So um, we have the Brockton Christian Mentoring Initiative. Mm -hmm. um, they work a lot with churches and community specifically. Um, we have the Old Colony Y Big Sister Big Brother program, um, and then we also have the Boys and Girls Club. Um, there's a mentoring program at the Cape Verdean Association that we work with, um, as well as Gateway to College at, through Massasoit Community mm -hmm. College. So we, it's really a range, you know, cradle to career. We're really focused on trying to make sure our youth have access points to mentors at different, you know, parts of their life. Now, I have a silly question, just an interesting idea. I don't know if I can, I'll, maybe I'll float in on TV and see what you think about it. It's all nonprofit. It's all community-based organizations. Um, 
we're sitting here, I don't want to date this too much because we'll run it up through the mentor, but uh, we're <laughs> going to have a new administration take office, okay? And one of the things that made a huge difference this year in the country is the number of young people involved in politics. Mm -hmm. um, could someone mentor somebody if they were in a political organization to get more people like, like, like I'm, yeah, I'm 55, okay? I'm, AARP is hunting, knocking on my door, <laughs> trying to send me stuff. But I got involved when I was 14 with politics. Yep. So is that something that, you know, let, let's say, I don't know, the Democratic City Committee, the Republican City Committee, could someone mentor a young person to get involved in politics and be part of something like this in the future? I'm sure they could. I mean, okay. we would welcome that. I think it would just depend. Would it be a formal thing? Would it be an informal thing? Um, because, you know, we also, in the different mentoring programs, they look at what people's interests are, what they're looking to get into. And we could, you know, kind of um, go that route and look at what their interests are and try to tie that into the child and the adult together. Or it could be something that's formalized through them and through the mm -hmm. committees. Um, or we could make referrals. You know, we have a lot of kids waiting for mentors. Okay. A lot of the programs have um, significant waiting lists because, you know, we just don't have that many volunteers. So mm. I think that'd be a great opportunity. I got inspired. Uh, Jimmy Carter, when he was running for president, mm -hmm. came to Brockton High. That year we had six presidential candidates come to Brockton. They wow. actually showed up here. And I met him. I got his book, autograph, whole nine yards. Uh, if you gave him $1,000 or worked 1,000 hours, you got a gold peanut that you could put on your lapel, which my oh, father has in a safe deposit box. But I met a president of the United States before he was president mm -hmm. of the United States. And they talk about, I mean, whose future is it? It's my future, you know, for X number of years. Their future for a lot longer than lot me. Longer. So, um, and I think like in the Sanders campaign, a lot of people really made a big difference. They got inspired by politics. Yeah. And who knows what's going to happen over the next four years? So you never know. I just, yeah. um, I might pitch it to the city yeah, committee that's and see a great if they idea. have an, a, a good idea. But so there is a waiting list. How how big is the waiting list for? Well, kids? it depends program to program. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I know. Um, like the, some programs don't have that much of a waiting list because they specifically target kids okay. um, through whatever, you know, our organization or churches. Um, whereas other ones, like I know for um, Big Brother and Sisters, we have a waiting list and we have them in Brockton, we have them in Taunton, we have them in Plymouth because we have a larger service area. Sure, so sure. Um, it's, you know, it depends, like I said, by town, but we have, you know, a fair amount of girls and more boys. Um, but it's, you know, we could use mentors in any part of our service area. Okay, I got the one minute cue from Jay, and you'll get to see the premiere of the video that we did here and worked in partnership with you. But how would people, if they wanted to be a mentor, how would they, how would they volunteer? Give us so, the quick info. Visit Brockton'sPromise.org. It mm -hmm. lists all the different mentoring programs. Um, but if you ever have a question about one, I'm the co-chair of Caring Adults, and I could refer you to whatever program you're kind of looking for. There's some that are site-based, some that are community-based, where you go off with a little. Sometimes you just are at the organization itself, so whatever you're kind of looking for, we can find a fit. And your phone number or contact info? Um, you can reach me at 508-580-7786. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 7786. Well, thanks for doing what you're doing, and I know you uh, got the whole community spirit through your folks who are volunteers extraordinaire, and it makes sense that you're doing what you're doing. So Thank thanks for you. doing Thank what you. you're doing, and we will see you at, on, on um, Mentor Recruitment Day. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.